Hello everybody, Reggie Time here, continuing um, the my study session on the hand, my hands I reviewed from my play yesterday on the Eternal Party Folk of Fast Forward Streets. Always ask this, you never do it because you're just a bunch of miserable bastards, but please comment. Likes, I get some likes, that's fine. Uh, I'd like more, but get some more. But please just comment, just say something, just type anything, dot, 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 doesn't matter. Just fucking do something, you bunch of assholes. Anyways. Here we go. 4X under the gun. Clearly a recreational player of some description. Given he's playing 13 13, I'm just going to guess this is like a tight fish. Um, recall. Flop a good shot. We'll check. Willem bets big. I mean, this is just a fish with a good hand, isn't it? It's just a tight fish with a very good hand. Uh, but we have a good shot to the nuts. I'm already feeling like, yeah, about this. We did call. Turn nine, check, check. We have a nine. Um, I don't think this is a mandatory bluff. We do beat some draws, some flush draws. Uh, I don't think we need to bluff this hand. I did, though, anyway. I guess it's a butchering. And we won the hand, but I think that is not a bet on the river. Let's see. Yeah, it's not a bet on the river. Or if it is a bet, it's certainly not a bet for the fucking side. But it's a wrong move, so it's just a pure check, I guess. Uh, or close to pure. Fold, just fold the flop 99% of the time. Fair enough. I, that's what I probably wanted to do. Just didn't find it. Uh, check, check. River. It's wanting a 10 percenter. It's wanting a 10 percenter. Uh, okay, just for my own amusement, what the fuck is meant to fold here? Oh, call versus 10 percent on the river. Uh, we can't even replicate it, we just need to use that one. 18 percent. Um, folding 22 percent of the time versus this. Folding pocket eights? No, it's not. Not in real, not in the real world. It's not. I bet ten percent on this river pocket eight calls. Simple as that. Shut up, you drunk. Uh, pocket five also isn't going to fold. Um, and all the rest just getting folds and stuff. We're already ahead of. And then the calls. Do we get value from worse? Ace five calls, which we beat. All these ace high calls. Ace ten off. Eh, uh, you know what, that's not a size I'd be finding very often. Ace-10 off. Small blind open. We call. Flop of the absolute nizzles or thereabouts. I know it's not quite the nizzles, but it's as good as. Check. Um, We've got the board pretty well fucking blocked. My head says check here. Interested to what theory does. Turn nine, filling that bets. I mean, we need to start building a pot because we've got a full house at the minute. There's only 8.5 blinds in the pot. But I suspect I'm just going to call again here. Oh, I did raise. Filling calls. Turn deuce, filling checks. Uh, over bet. Call. Okay. Let's see what I did wrong on this one. Because we know we did something wrong. Because these are all hands where we lost EV. It's only a small EV loss here. Apparently. And that's on the turn. Bob, there is betting on the flop. It's actually checking. Even though it's got the two tick option. It's actually favouring betting slightly. But they're just mixing all the different sizes. Turn. It's close to pure calling. It does raise it to first a slightly bigger size, or a lot bigger size. I guess because we're quite polar, we just don't use this size because we're not really raising. We're saying we've got like at least 10x. And the river, if it likes the overbet. Okay, nothing much to see there. 
small EV loss, but it's mostly that same strategy. Um, open up the call. Check, check. Turn off flush draw. Do we need to bluff here? We got showdown value with that King Jack High. I think, in hindsight, I prefer check. Let's see what I did in game. I think we did better. I think I just prefer check. Call. And maybe I'm thinking in hindsight because I know that I got marked down somewhere here. And I think that leading this turn might be where we get marked down. Uh, we blasted with bet. I don't think we should. I'm saying here I've got at least an ace or better. So what better? I have ace four, ace deuce, ace nine, pocket nines, pocket fours, pocket deuces. Do we have much three X in our range here? No, I don't think I bet ace three on the turn. Do I want to bet this big with non-straights? Probably because villain's three X region isn't particularly dense. Uh, I don't mind betting again here, but I think this size is going to be deeply unpopular. King Jack suited. Oh, we've got a wrong move. I think that's going to be turn. River. Wow, river's the wrong move. Uh, so hang on, rush that there. Turn, just wanted to check you, which I kind of knew. And as played, it's just giving up, just completely giving up. Losing money, we're losing like quarter of a big blind on this bet. I think that's what that means. It's not a huge loss, but still bad. Uh, we ended up with ace five. Yeah, I think the mistake there from, from if we didn't bet the turn, then I wouldn't bet the river. And we shouldn't have bet the turn. The turn's just a pure check. So, yeah, that's quite the blunder. Move on to pocket jacks. Open the button. Ah, this is from a session earlier in the day. Because I was using 2.2 .2 earlier, then I moved to using min and 2.5 later in the day. After watching a upswing poker video. Um, wow. Get dunked into. This range is just going to be like ready. We might even have seen this on the video yesterday. I think there's a very good chance we saw this on the video yesterday. Um, I'm just going to raise here. Because of very high frequency. This is going to be like super merged range. Do raise. He calls. Turn ace. He checks. How much ace X does he have in his flop bet call range? Ace I flush draws. The rest of his range is going to be 10x. 8x on flush draws that don't contain an ace. I think we can continue betting here. I didn't know. River nine of diamonds. Villain bets. And I think now we just have a pretty easy call. And I decided to turn my jacks into a bluff. What are you doing here, Reg? Ah, yes, I remember. I actually don't think I mind this play. I remember thinking, I probably don't win. You know, Villa might have some flushes here. He might have some ASX. I thought more here that when I made this play, I remember this hand, I made this play, and I was thinking, like, you know, if he's got a hand like Ace. No, because ASX is damaging number flush. Hmm. Hmm. I might have had some very, very flawed logic at this time. Because I was just, I wasn't really focused. In fact, I wasn't focused on villain's range at all. I was just like, right, I have a flush blocker. I have a straight blocker. If I'm not bluffing this, what am I bluffing? That was like my exact thought process. He was, I have jack, jacks with a diamond, blocked flushes, and I blocked jack queen. 
so fuck you. I'm going to raise because I think raise is going to be higher EV than call. That was my exact thought process. Um, that was exactly what it was. What I'm trying to make you fold, I don't fucking know. I wasn't even thinking about what I'm trying to make you fold. I just thought I have good blockers. And this is why these dots can be quite dangerous. I thought I have good blockers here. Um, and I'm just going to like turn my hand into a bluff. Not really considering what I might be getting to fold here. So yeah, um, only a bit of half ass thought went to this. Only some half ass thought went into it. The other one had ace three off, which is quite annoying, but yeah, that one might be quite the punt. Oh, it's only an inaccuracy. <laughs> We're not blundering. Um, but it wants call more than raise, but I mean, we saw what it turned up with ace three. Of course, raise is the better play in real world. Um, which is what we did. Turn ace. It's one pure checking back, which is what we did. Even though I thought there maybe should be some betting in pod review. River, it just wants call. It doesn't hate raise. It's like raise, yeah, you're making a bit of money on raise, but you're losing EV versus call. Um, but it's just not a particularly good spot is it we've got an under pair in the rivers bet and, and villains bet so it's never going to be a highly profitable spot um calling makes money this race as i'm i made makes money maybe it makes less money than call okay nine queen open from call uh, king, king, deuce. Bet with the intention of continuing betting on uh, blue ones. Start checking if we hit a pair. Who knows? Uh, maybe just not bet. Maybe there's just not enough good turn cards for us here to bet. Maybe we just check. We did check. Turn the checks back. Turn five. Just keeping checking now, really. Ah, don't like this. There's a jack. I decide to bluff again. I guess here my thoughts are just like villain wouldn't check back king x on flop. Generally speaking, um, maybe wouldn't check back flush draws either. So now I guess I'm just trying to fold out small pairs, etc. Ace highs. Um, I don't hate it, but whatever it is, what it is. Didn't manage to fold out a five. I don't think I hate that. I mean, as played, I think we after betting the turn, we'd probably follow through on the river. Given that I don't think villains going to be especially strong, and we have queen high, but maybe the turn bet is a bit out of order. We have uh, turn bets out of line river bets just flat out bad. That's what's happening here. It's actually preferring bet on flops. It's only checking 12% of the time, which is a pretty big mistake. So not range bet here. Turn it doesn't hit betting. And River just, yeah, again, he wants these 10 percenters. I watched a P. Clyde video yesterday where he was finding some of these 10 percenters on the river. Um, excuse me, that was a big one. Um, yeah, I watched a P. Clyde video, he was finding these 10 percenters on the river, and he was like really quite enthused by them. I just don't know. I mean, he's got the data analysis, so he's like, yeah, it works, it works. So maybe I just need to start trusting that it works and just like. Using the size more on rivers, just to start finding loads of like super small river blocks. That might be my mission for today. Just find lots of small river block bets out of position. So have a play with that, see how it goes. I had to pause there for a moment because I was chuckling too much about that fart. Very, very, I mean, I'm 49. I'm 49 years of age. And I'm chuckling because I did a big fart on a YouTube video. 
Fuck you, grow up, bitch. <laughs> grow up, you fucking idiot. Uh, okay, we've got a fish calling out the small blind here. Um, I'd love to be able to, like, just be able to go back and put notes on these people. Because it, it's, it's nice to know when you've got a 5438 in a pool where hood stats don't work. Uh, anyways, we flop an open ender. Check, range bet. Call. Turn five. Check. Um, I think either checking or overbetting mostly. Find the overbet. He calls. River the straight. Check. Do we overbet again? Do we overbet again? I think we probably should. We don't. We go with this size instead. Ugh. And then we now get raised. And now do we... Are we all in or are we just calling? I think we're just calling, aren't we? You can't be all in. We've only got a straight and boards paid. You what, Reg? You fucking what, Reg? You fucking what, Reg? You could just be check raising a 10 here, Reg. What's happened here, Reg? What's happened here is I've gone back to my old, like, river check raises are never a bluff. So just fold everything to them. Mentality. I'm not happy with this. I mean, maybe Thieve is going to give me a pat on the back for the river fold, but I strongly suspect it isn't going to. I just was expecting to see myself call there. Just expecting to see call because we just win, we just beat value sometimes. I mean, don't get me wrong, villain doesn't have bluffs here. There is no bluffing in this node. He's called a turnover bet. He has he has no bluffs. Maybe in theory, theory finds bluffs here. I don't fucking know. I'll be interested to look at it in a moment. I'm just talking on here because I'm filling my vape up and I only got one pair of hands, so I can't click a mouse button. But um, yeah, don't fold this reg. I don't think. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if Thierry was just like, yeah, you've over bet turn, you've bet river, you've been raised, just fold a straight reg. Wouldn't that just be the coolest fucking thing? Um, so let's get to it. Where are we at with this? This one here. Uh-oh. Yeah, river, just don't fold reg, you fucking idiot. Doesn't like the overbet on the turn. So at the moment, a lot of my strategy on turns is when the nuts doesn't change, do overbetting or checking a lot. That's my current default strategy. Here, it doesn't hate overbet, but it just prefers like it's just mixing all these different. It wants to bet pure. Or close to pubes, just mixing all these different sizes in. Uh, it prefers 75% half pot. So it's going to go on the larger side here, but doesn't favour the overbet. Um, which is what we did. And then River just wants to check back. We River a straight, and it's saying check. That reasonable. That's another trump. Hopefully, that's the pause too long laughing this time. Um, is that really reasonable to check back this fucking river? This one's blown my mind. I thought I was going to get towed off for the bet fold. Now it wants a pure fold or close to. It just doesn't like the fucking bet. Wow, that is interesting. <laughs> We river a strong hand, and it's like, nah, we ain't calling this one, Reg. We ain't betting this one, sorry. <laughs> so why aren't you betting river? Probably because it doesn't want to get raised to begin with, I imagine. And why aren't we betting river? If you get this river, I use a size that was something like this, for argument's sake. Nope, no, I didn't. I'm looking for pressing the wrong button. Uh, check. Then I use a size like this for argument's sake. And it's just, just 
not called a ripple of houses ever, is it? There it's called. So it's getting called 39% of the time. Then it's getting jammed on 18%. And maybe we don't get called enough versus get jammed on. And we get called here and we win this amount of the money all of the time. When we get jammed on, we have to fold. So that probably costs more money long term. Is that what we're saying? Or we sometimes get raised when we can never call. Hmm. Interested here that it doesn't want to bet. Obviously, all the tech ten X is raising us. This bigger size. See, look, we're beating Ace Ten. We're beating Jack Ten. We're not beating the Tens. We're not beating the Nines. Yeah. That's interesting. I feel like I've learned something there because I would never, ever, ever, ever check this back. And it's just like, yeah, just check. Oh, just here we go. Straight raise. Just check. Interesting. It's ten of blue. It's open side. It's almost guaranteed to be a fish doing this in speed poker pools. I think this side is fine if you're playing in some soft games and there's no obstructions between you and a soft player. Um, but I think in this in these speed poker pools, this size is just a very strong indication that you can place a fish. Or flush draw check. <laughs> Bet. I think we can just call here. No need to raise. Turn pairs of board. Check. Checks back. River and ace. Um, block. Maybe this is too big. Maybe this is where we're getting marked down. Everyone calls. We lose to ace queen. Maybe our size is just too big on the river there. If I had to guess what we've done wrong there, I'd say... River size too big. River non-existent. Okay. Actually not non-existent. Just you use a size it doesn't want to use. It just wants these little small bit again. These little small bets are something I'm going to have to start building into my game on the river. Because we're, we're clearly, if there's one thing I'm taking away from this video, we're missing a lot of like uber small river bets. We're missing loads and loads of them. Uh, yeah, and I think I like it. I like the idea of building that into my game. I like it a lot, in fact. So, yes, happy days. That's what I'm taking away from today's video. If I'm taking away anything from today's video, it is find way more nano bets on the river. This has been entirely standard up to now, in my opinion. Dylan, wow, he's waxing a great big pot sized sea bear. I mean, Guess just call. I guess just call. Ah, Reg. Reggie. I think, in theory, this is never a fold. I think, in practice, Maybe it should be against these type of players who like three bet and then they just go bomb, bomb. I expect a lot of the time this to be an over pair that's just like, ah, quick, bet, bet, bet. There's a draw out there, bet. Uh, I think in theory I should never fold this. In practice, I don't hate it. Top pair, top kicker, three bet pop, we probably don't want to be folding it very often. But I think versus this line of bomb flop and pretty much bomb turn. I don't hate it in practice. I think in theory, I think we should just call down. Unless a red one comes on the river. And we've lost a lot of EV on this one. We've lost a lot, a lot, a lot of EV. This has been a major blunder. 
in like through the VV loss. Um, so yeah, pure call, standard, big bet. Wow, he's actually wanting to just say fuck you, I'm all in. Which makes sense, because if he's doing this with like flush draws and stuff, um, we either deny that equity or we just get it in as a favourite. Turn. Again, it's just going all in. Yeah, I've been a timid little fucker here. And I, I, I knew that. Like, I knew Thede was going to hate this. This is why I have a second account on um, B-Win and a third account on Coral because I don't want people playing against me knowing who I am and knowing I make such egregious folds sometimes. Yeah, that's a bad one. I think we just got to go with it there. If we beat, we beat. Uh, Ace, Jack, off suit. Button open. Uh, I think call or squeeze here is going to be fine. We go with squeeze, should be bigger. Call fold. We got told off for not C bit in a paired board earlier with a three bet pot. We're going to get told off again, I would imagine. Check, check. Turn four. Check, check. River deuce. Check, check. And we win against King Queen. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that line because these this happens so often in these games. I was watching Easter yesterday. Like, you just don't need to bluff these spots. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't take my strategic advice from Easty. But he was commenting on how, like, he was like, ranting about how, like, nitty the games are, about people just don't fucking bluff, etc. And I, I guess I'm on the same page as him there because I just decided I can just win at showdown with that hand. Um, Quite often. It's actually wanting us to bet the river like the other things. Um, oh, hang on. Pre flop. Well, pre flop. Yeah, it's three bet. We've got the two ticks. But how often is it calling? Uh, not very often. Okay. Flop. It's only wanted to check 10%, which I knew. I knew it was, it was going to prefer betting here. Um, check. Turn. Now we're just checking pure. River, it's wanting this nano size again. Right, we have definitely, definitely learned something from this, from this video. And I'm delighted to have done it. This is why I do all this study. Because I'm just, I, we've missed so many of these. We've missed so many. And it's just the easiest thing in the world. You know, and the river, when you've got hands that you might want to check, is just fucking don't, Red. Just, just fucking bet 10% and see what happens, I guess. Um, interesting stuff. Oops, someone is phoning me. One second. Uh, I have a bit more time now to finish this video because I've just got a call from Quinn's dad saying he's not going to be ready on time, so I've got an extra 15 minutes. I was worried we weren't going to get to all the hands. Now we've got half a chance. Um, on to the next one. Back 10 of diamonds. Shout out to... Mr. William Nutting, who streams as Jack Ten of Diamonds or JT Diamond, I think, on Twitch and YouTube. Um, he's he's playing Five and L Zoom Challenge. He plays much higher stakes than that in his real life. But shout out to him if you haven't watched him, then go and find him and give him a follow and a sub and all that sort of stuff. Um, we get three bet here. Um, I think. Probably just fold, to be honest, here now. Just fold, but we're clearly not going to. Uh, flop nothing, check. Bet half pot, just fold, Reg. Excuse me, Reg. Excuse me, Reg. I mean, I know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to fold out against someone who I think might be seabetting too much. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to, I'm just attacking what I perceive to be a, a seabet range that is too wide. But it's completely unnecessary. It works though. But I, um, that is me trying to do an exploit. Um, 
And it worked. I mean, my, my read was clearly not bad because he did fold, but yeah, um, clearly not really a thing in theory. Oh, wow. It's not worth any fold free. What into four bet jack to that? I did this a while ago. I remember I reviewed a hand with Ryan um, just privately. And this is very exactly the same spot. I had Jack Ten of Clubs, I think it was, out of position to like one of the better regs in the pool that we both play in. And I four bet this, and at the time it was like, nah, don't do that, Rich. And now it's saying, yeah, do do that, Rich. Not fucking no. Things are confusing. Uh, anyways, let's just have some leads on this flop, apparently. And then just fold the flop bridge, which is, yeah. That one's a confusing one, because I didn't think fall back. I thought just fold pre. Out of position. Wants to fall back. Let's just go back to the flip pre flop. So he wants to fall back a lot here, doesn't he? He wants to fall back 70% of the time. I guess it's just because there's so many like pocket pairs in this range. I mean, this range theoretically from the button is just wide, isn't it? It's just got a lot. If we just like go to preflop and like look at button three pain range, it's just wide. It's got all this stuff in that just isn't going to call a four bet or shouldn't, I guess. So when we do four bet pre. Look at all that stuff. It only continues like aggressively with the absolute fucking nuclear strength good stuff. Doing a little bit of calling with this sort of range. Just folding ace queen off, folding king queen, folding ace jack king down. I mean, look at all these folds again. I like it. I like it. Next. Um, now he's just calling my standard play flopping a set which is not standard for me but happily we did it this time check of course villain over bet we're not supposed to raise versus over bet are we aha I remember this guy this one was on video he ends up having king three suited here, if I remember correctly. Uh, turn check. He overbets again. This is the guy who I said is just like finding a lot of like the theory approved sizings post flop. He's either really, really quite good or a fucking cheat. Um, and River, he obviously rivers his king. We check again. He rivers what he thinks is showdown value. He checks back. He's got king three. Um, so let's see what we've done here that we shouldn't have done because we've lost EV, so we should have done something different somewhere. We lost actually lost quite a lot of EV. Uh, flop check. I meant to raise version over bet. That's really interesting because I'm just like in my brain, it's like oh, someone's over bet the polar, we don't raise. But the polar here with stuff like ace queen, I guess. <coughs> ace king. Things like that. It's such a good board for their range. And they just get to over bet. And it just likes raising here straight away. I'm learning something again here. We can on these boards where we flop really well and it's like good board for villain range. We can have over bets. Oh, sorry, we can have raises versus over bet. I like learning that. Check. He's over bet turn. And we're now we're just basically all in, aren't we? I mean, as it happens here, this guy would have folded because he had king three. I like the fact we can fucking raise versus these. Maybe it's just because these are becoming more pre prevalent now. Pre prevalent. And people like over bets are happening more. So it's less of a like outlier thing. Uh, then river check check. So I'm interested to see more in villain's line here. Like, how good is this? Uh, uh, 
with his exact hand. I mean, I think like, is he overdoing it here? I mean, he obviously he's got king three, but is it still, what am I trying to say? Yeah, basically, if this king three is in there as an over bet, it's going to confirm my read that this, I'm not going to confirm, it's going to solidify my read this guy's a cheat. If the king three is not in there as an over bet, then um, maybe he's just like, oh, I know certain GTO lines, I know certain fucking nodes, and when I think I know something, I'm just going to fucking do it. It's one or the other with this guy. Um, so basically, all I want to know is like, because I think it's like, flop over bet, King three suited. He had King three in spades, didn't he? Um, but that's not binding, to be fair. So he flop over bet range. Yeah, the king. Some there is some King X in there. There's, there is some King three in there at a very small frequency. But yeah, he's not. He's not meant to be doing that with that hand. And then turn. He did it again, didn't he? I look at the right thing here. Right, stop be fucking stupid. Let's get it right. Ah, flop over bet, sorry. No, well, that's what we were looking at. Ignore me. Turn over bet range. He went for again. Is the king three in there? King three is now virtually disappeared, hasn't it? Guess it's like his flush draws, his clubs that are doing this. Yeah. Okay, so villain is overdoing it. Which allays my fears slightly that he's fucking cheating. And more, he's just like, I know a strategy here, I know what I do here. And he just like does it regardless of whether his actual hand wants to do it or not. And that makes more sense. Because I don't think he's cheating. I just think this guy's probably just like he knows the, he knows the aggressive lines really quite well. And then he just applies them too often with hands he shouldn't. Maybe that's the read that I'm starting to develop. Because I've seen a few other spots where he's just like too aggro. And maybe he's just overall too aggro with his entire range. And it's up to me to find decent adjustments to that. <clears throat> or just play very theoretically sound against him. Or try to play very theoretically sound. Open here to pot. Um, this hand... <coughs> Should be a three bet here, I think. Maybe we can sneak in some flats if we again if we know we've got a play like this in the big blind. We do go with three bet, we have calls, we flop ourselves top pair. Great to rubbish kicker. Not a relatively weak kicker. So where are we going with this now? Um I can get behind bet or check here. I think instinctively I slightly favour check. I went with bet this time. Come on, calls. Turn me pick up a flush draw. I instinctively I'm just wanting to check again. But my instincts could be way off, which is why we're doing all this work. We did check. Villain checks back. We river a Flush. Hmm. It's weird now. It's a three bet pop. We see bet the flop. We've actually backed into a strong hand. We didn't bet the turn with this hand's fucked up. Uh. Is this the time for like a small bet on the river? I decided not in game. We did get calls. So we've won the max, but I have no idea what theoretically I should be doing there. Uh, pre flop can call, but PS3 bet just about. Call, check, bet one third, bet half. Fine, that's kind of about where I thought we should be. Turn is checking. 
So theoretically, I'm massively in the game here. And then River, who just wants block or all in. Some check, of course. Because we guess we want to check Reyes' hand sometimes. Um, minimize block or all in. Doesn't let my big size. It doesn't hit over bet. But it never uses our actual size here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where I went that size, to be honest. Really not sure where I went that size. I mean, obviously we won the max, but maybe we didn't win the max. Maybe we just win more if we go all in. Maybe we just win another 30 big. Um, yeah, so I thought I was butchering that one as we were reviewing it. it turned out I didn't do too badly on it. Um, aces, open, three bet, call, check, bet, um, I don't mind going quite big here actually, we're ripping a polar range pre, we'll still continue being polar post maybe, wouldn't hit a big bet here, read into that, which is what it is, turn eight, check, be betting, I guess. River King of Hearts, check. Hmm. Hmm. My thoughts here are do we get called on a jam? And I just don't think we do. Does Queen X call if we jam here? Does he have much King X that isn't King Queen or King 8 or King 5 or whatever? Instinctively, I want to check, but minus 6 could be way off here. I actually went with the small bet. I'm going to unfold it. I think just checking River there, but we'll see. Fucked it somewhere, river, maybe it just wants to check or maybe it just wants all in. Not sure which. Jesus, I've done a lot of fat in this video. Uh, yep, we got the two tick bet. Turn, we got two ticks again. And river, just pure check. Yeah. And I remember and I was agonizing over this at the time, thinking, is this just too thin now? And it Clearly it's because checking makes more money than betting does. Uh, two sixes. One opens. Call. Top top set. I think we're going to have some leads here. Turn. Continue betting. River check, I guess. Ugh. Too thin, Reg, I think. Too thin, Reg, I think. Three flops, fine. Flop. Oh, don't rush it, Reg. Don't rush it. Uh, yeah. Favorite option is 70%. Turn. Doesn't mind checking, but it doesn't mind continuing betting either. Um, and this is because, like, we, yeah, fine, villains have some flushes, but sometimes we have, we can bow open. If we never bet this turn and the river pairs, we can never have full house on rivers, etc. That's my take on this situation. Calls river. He just loves this blocky, blocky, blocky again. I'm going to have so much fun trying this blocky, blocky, blocky today on rivers. Oh, don't like that river. Just block. Don't like it. Block. Don't like it. Block. Fucking love it. I'm going to massively overdo it. Massively, massively overdo it. And I'm going to have a lot of fun. Well, in this video, you can have plenty of speed poker. King, queen, off. Uh, three bets. No low against someone playing 6-6 six, six over 16 hands. I'd prefer not to, but I didn't know that, obviously. Call. I already know now these paired balls, whether I like it or not, I've just got to see about them. 
to do this time, but I think it, we want a bigger size, more like half pot. Uh, but it's false. It just tells me now we're not supposed to see bet then. I just don't know. We, well, oh, fuck, we've got a red line. We've got a fucking red one. It's going to tell me what to check now, isn't it? I don't, I, I, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, just check pure. Right, so what is it betting on this for? Logan just said I don't understand and then fucking sucked him. This hand wants to check. What's our global frequency? I'm checking half the time. Uh, so where are our bets coming from? Not really from offsuit. Oh, a king queen off is betting, just not our specific combination, I guess. So we've got spades and diamonds. I reckon stuff with like hearts and clubs are maybe doing it more. Uh, so king queen off, which ones are actually betting? All the club ones are betting. Basically, it's king, queen off with a club. That's the one that's C-metting. And that makes sense. And that's pretty easy. Pretty easy to like go into a game with. Like, okay, if we, when we've got like the XX offsuit with a club here, we just do quite a bit. C-betting, when we don't have a club, we just shut it down immediately. Um, it's going to be easy enough to implement and execute. Eight, get the three bet out of the big blind. Um, just fold now, Reg. But I, I, maybe I just had to read this guy was a fish. We're looking at the stats. There'll be a chance I had to read he was a fish. But nevertheless, still just justifying it other than my opinion would be, okay, I think this might be a fold, but he's a fish. If we do flop a set, we're very likely to just fucking get all the money. Old school logic. I think this should just be a fold, fold though. Get small on this flop, pocket eight to the club, feels like we can't fold. Turn six, he checks. Please don't start flipping, Reg. Good, I didn't. The jack, he bets. Uh, fold. No, call then, okay, Reg, whatever. Whatever, Reg. You want to be a moron, be a moron. It's fine. That's why you're doing it. 10 and L, because it's less expensive to be a moron. Uh, ah, there is some calling for it. There's all calling on the flop. We are meant to start betting the turn. All right, okay. I didn't think we were, but just meant to bet this forty percent of the time. Uh, I guess that's probably just to like we've got stuff like king queen. Or just this air basically. We just fold this air out. That's got equity maybe. Uh, then river, all in, all in on the river. Well, I guess we don't like because Bill can have queens here because you do have it, and queens has to fold. We just it's just turning, preparing to a bluff here. I mean, there's no good options here. With basically every option is neutral, would be or worse. Um. If you're not finding this, I'm not going to beat myself up for not finding this jam. Not beating myself up at all. But I am interested in studying when we bet the turn. Like what the, what that, what's the function of our turn bet versus check. If we were just to bet on the turn. If we were just to mix betting sometimes one third and fifty percent. Uh, so if we click both the uh, do, 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 check, so it's not really using this size very much in general, but when it, oh, hang on, get on the right fucking thing, Reg, get on the right thing, you fucking moron, um, this and this, and then what does that, Fold out when we bet this size. King, king just sometimes folds. Okay. 
king queen off king jack off queen jack off queen queen sometimes folds well queen queen just folds a lot um queen nine which is better eh, okay i can get on board with that because we are like folding out better hands versus check here um and yeah i can fully get on board with that but we don't have very long now because i need to go get changed and potentially have a poo uh, how many more hands have we got to go we're getting near the end we're not going to finish we've got these hands to go we're not going to get through them all sadly unless we rush which i don't really want to do um open call check c bet call Let's turn the nuts get led into um ah, i think all these hands of hands that we're gonna you're gonna see on future videos so i'm not even sure i want to spoil them anyway um raise here he calls other pairs of board check um all in call and i'm gonna get caught by a nine so i'll do this last one because i don't want to spoil uh, the live play videos we've got coming up same we lost ev on that hand um why why did we lose ev river didn't want the jam because the board paired what in bigger bets here turn he likes call but he loves race river it wants big bet but not over bet But I actually think versus population, this overbet makes makes more EV than I think he does. This is one of the rare cases. I don't often argue with the solver, but I actually think here that um, that this this just makes more money. I think villain's going to have loads of hands that want to call the artful houses. Um, as we found here, the, the lad just called us with a, with a lasso, the, the player just called us with a nine. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about this game. We, we, we barely lost any EV anyway, if we go back to look at this, it's like saying we lost um, like a quarter of a big blind. So I'm not going to lose sleep over that. But I'm going to go now because I need a poo, I need to get changed. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. They are two extra bonus videos. They're going to be two videos going out in the same day over the next two days um yeah i've enjoyed doing this study session it's work i need to do i hope some of you and i fully expect this video not to reach triple figure views for like a year but um i hope some of you who did watch this enjoyed it and got something from it take care everybody and bye bye for now